Hi, it's Dan here from Flexible, and today we're going to talk about how to create high converting exit pops with your Facebook ads and how you can mop up some extra leads. Let's get stuck in. So most of you listening to this video, probably fairly uh, advanced when it comes to lead generation, you know what you're doing, right? So you know what an exit pop is. Um, but what we've, what we've been testing in our agency over the last month is installing some, uh, an exit pop in our uh, landing page and we've been measuring the additional number of leads that we've been getting and the maths have come in after a month and we're getting an additional 8.8% of leads that we would not have got before if we didn't have an exit pop. It's quite important that if you are running traffic, if you do have landing pages and you haven't tried exit pops, then maybe you can try something to you know, get some more leads and reduce your cost per lead. Uh, it's pretty easy to do. We're gonna give you a little bit of training on how to do that um, and what these high converting exit pops look like. So without further ado, I'll hand you over to Graham, who uh, is, you know, he does a lot of stuff inside my agency. I was calling him a tech geek before, but he actually didn't like that. He's, I think he wants to be called their account manager. So I'll pass you over to him and uh, he'll be able to take it from him. He's actually sitting on the sofa here, shaking his head at me again. So um, yeah, over to him. He's great, he'll sort you out. And if you have any questions, uh, please get back to me. We'll talk at the end about how to, how to get help. Hey guys, so it's just a little video just to show you uh, how we set up our exit pops. Um, so as you know, we, we tend to use Unbounce for our landing pages. Um, so I'm just going to quickly show you how you can make a very simple exit pop um, for your Unbounce page. Um, so where you want to go is when you're in your main dashboard, you want to go to pop-ups and sticky bars. If you click there, that should take you through to the pop-up section. Um, then you can press create new. I'm going to go into one we've already uh, got running um, for our flexible course. And we'll just go in then I'll just show you. So it's very much like a landing page. You get kind of like your, your tracks of visitors um, and things like that. And this is basically our exit pop here. So before I get onto the exit pop, I'll just show you how you can basically sort out all the targeting and where it shows and all that kind of stuff. So it, you can make sure that it shows on the right um, URLs. So obviously our, our funnels, learn.flexible.com. Uh, we want it to show on all our free training pages, which we've got two. So it will show on those, which is good. And then on the, on the trigger, you can trigger it many different ways. So we do it when they try to exit a page. And this is um, for our Facebook ads, um, which uh, we can do. But then you can also like have a delay on there um, or when the visitor arrives at the page or when the visitor scrolls up the page. Any, any sort of thing you want to do, um, you can do it here. And the frequency, you can kind of make sure they don't see it every time they go on the page. We have it on every visit, um, which you can choose to have on or off. Uh, you can do even advanced targeting, um, so depending on the referrer. So for example, if you are sending YouTube and Facebook traffic here, uh, you could uh, click that on and then um, exclude or show just our, from Facebook and then you can exclude it from YouTube because YouTube doesn't uh, like exit pops. And then once you've um, done all this kind of stuff, uh, you let's, let's do the design first. So just to show you what it looks like. So go into edit. And this is basically it. Very simple uh, square. Um, you can put whatever you want in there, whatever kind of messaging. Um, this is just a quick one. And then you can have uh, a kind of button to go to your quiz page or wherever you want to send them we actually have a html uh, many chat facebook bu button here so when they click it um, they get sent to our messenger so that's our call, call to action on this one um, but you can have whatever you want a, uh, a button you can even have your quiz uh, embedded on there if you so wish um, but it's basically it's very important to get that kind of message across that they're missing out if they um, if they leave the page um, so that's kind of what we got there so the design is very simple. Make sure it's not bigger than your page. Um, square. We 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 normally tend to tend to try and do square. We sometimes do rectangles, but square seems to work better for us. And once you've done the design, then you can go add it to uh, 
you have to make sure you add it to the page. So you need to copy this script here and you want to go back to your pages and then you want to go to free training and obviously you want to go and edit the page um, and then down here in JavaScript uh, you want to add new JavaScript and you want to put it in the head section and you want to paste your script in there which should be that yep uh, you want to paste it in there and you just want to press done and then save and then republish and then just to show you what it looks like go to the page it's meant to fire on and then you go to exit the page and this is what pops up which is the exit pop um, and that's the little button we've got on there um, so yeah that's that's how you do it on unbounce cool so i know not everyone uses um unbounce for their landing pages um so i thought i'd just show you quickly how to do it on wordpress as well because i know a lot of people are using that for their landing pages these days um so we have exit pops on our flexible main site uh, so these are more kind of like for the organic side of it uh, but nevertheless they still work very well um so the way you do it you just go onto your wordpress back end um you have this side panel here uh, we have something called Elementor, which is a plugin that helps us with the design elements of WordPress. Um, so we go to templates there and then go to pop-ups. And these pop-ups can be all manner of things. They can be exit pops, they can be uh, sticky footers, that kind of stuff. Uh, I'm just going to show you one of our exit pops here. Uh, click on that. And then we press edit with Elementor. Let that load up. And a design element, again, very similar uh, to what we did on Unbounce. Um, very simple. It's just basically trying to grab someone's attention before they're leaving the page. Um, so, yeah, just make, make sure you have a, a call to action on there, a button, and enough info to try and tempt them to not leave straight away. Um, then what you want to do here is you want to go over to this section here. And this is in Ele Elementor. Um, and you want to go and press uh, Display Conditions. So these are the conditions here. Um, so include singular, posts, all. So this is um, basically going to show on everything we add to the post section um, in WordPress. And that is the blogs. Um, so that's good. And then also we are adding it to pages and then specifically a blog update page. So this is purely going to be showing on our blogs. You, you can add loads more. So you can do entire site. Uh, you can do singular. And you can go down here and, and pick anything else you, you want. Like say you've got landing pages. You could uh, select a landing page. And if you've got loads of landing pages, you can just select one out of that drop down. Uh, so it's quite simple to set up the rules. Triggers. Um, so we've got uh, on page exit intent and also 60 seconds of inactivity um, so you can do more than one on on this one which is cool um, but those are the two things you can set there's other things so it's on page load on scroll and I'm sure there'll be other stuff yeah so you can uh, dictate when it shows up um, on scroll to elements so when you hit a certain uh, element on, on the page you can do it and on a click as well um, it's up to you but our, our exit pops are based on exit intent and that's where you want to try and mop up a few more conversions and you can go on to just check out a minute yep yeah. go on to advanced rules um so you can sharp up to x times we've got that rule on there but there's loads of stuff you can do on here um so it's 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 pretty easy to get set up once you've done that you just press save save and close and then you just press update there. Um, I'll leave, I, I won't make any, any edits to that. And then that will that will work, basically. But yeah, so that's basically how we um, create them on both Unbounce and WordPress. Um, they've helped us get around about 8% more leads. Um, I'd say about out, out of our total, total amount of leads we've got from the offers that we're running the um, exit pop on, 
they generate roughly around about that eight eight percent um, extra leads. Um, so it's nothing to be sniffed at. Um, it's definitely worth a shot. Uh, to see if you can just mop up a few of those people who are going to leave the page um, without converting. Um, so it's a great thing to try. Very simple to do. Um, if you have, have any questions, obviously um, pop it in the in the chat. And um, recording in progress. We'll be good to go. Cheers. All right, so if you've enjoyed uh, the content today and Graham's really shown you some good stuff, then please do like this video so we know to create more videos like it. Uh, also, if you've got any comments or questions for Graham, then please type in the chat box. We'll get back to you as soon as we can. And lastly, please subscribe to our channel uh, so you'll be the first to know when we create new stuff.